For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. Also, I've got a new merchandise store, hats, hoodies and new tee designs all available right now on the link in the description. Hey guys, welcome to episode number two of season three at Newcastle United. We start today with the opening Barclays Premier League game of the season against Leicester City. Uh, it's actually Monday night football, so we're uh, the final two teams to play on the opening weekend. You guys gave me plenty of suggestions for uh, this upcoming transfer window with regards to what's been going on so far. One thing to add, in the earlier episode today, I mentioned that I was recording it yesterday as you see this, and as I'm recording this now on the 1st, and I said uh, that if Musa Sissoko leaves in real life, we will sell him in this series. As it happens, he left in real life. So, we will go head over now and let's put Musa Sissoko on the transfer list. He's £11 million is his valuation. We have £90 million in the budget right now. We're looking for a right-sided midfielder, a striker and potentially a left-sided midfielder and or a right-back, and now a centre-mid as well. As things stand, this is the shortlist that I've constructed thanks to uh, your feedback in the comment section. We've got Mateo Kovacic here waiting for a full scout report back on him. Axel Witzel is a player that could do a job in the centre of midfield instead of Musa Sissoko. Aaron Ramsey and also perhaps Jack Wilshere. We did look at Jack Wilshere earlier on in the uh, in the save, and we ended up going for Gilfie to Goodson instead because Jack was just that little bit too expensive, but Jack could really be a fantastic op uh, option for us right now in that central midfield role. Another guy who's grown fantastically well throughout this save is Saul at Atleti, valued at £27 million, though, at the, uh, the overall rating of 84 at the age of 22. Expensive, but he does look absolutely incredible. So we'll have to make a decision. I'm leaning towards Jack Wilshire and or Saul. So it will probably be one of those two. But I'll take your guys' thoughts on as well. And actually, we'll have to wait and see what Mateo Kovacic's stats look like. Because he could be a decent signing too. When it comes to the wide players, there are a number that I'm looking at. Obviously, almost all of these players can play on either wing. So it doesn't really matter which one we go for. We've got Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. He's too, he also is, or he too is at Atletico Madrid for, uh, for uh, probably going to be a similar price to Saul. He's, Unless he hasn't grown much, I'd presume that he's grown quite well, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Andre Schürrle is another player that we could look into. Obviously, could play left, right, maybe even through the middle up top as a striker as well. Perisic can play on either side of uh, midfield, as can Memphis. Memphis could even perhaps play as a striker too, but he's only got 73 finishing. Douglas Costa is also incredible, so uh, we could look into him maybe, although perhaps that's slightly out of our price range considering we're going to need to buy an expensive central midfielder as well although if we can raise some money with Musa Sissoko we might be able to do well so far with regards to the striker slot I've only really isolated Carlos Tevez he's 33 but look at those stats at 33 he's that good still I think he's only on £70,000 a week as well so wage wise he's very much affordable I'm would I'd be thrilled if I could bring in Carlos Tevez. We tried to bring Carlos Tevez back to West Ham in one of my previous saves, and unfortunately he uh, wouldn't uh, come back to uh, to England to West Ham. But he may decide that Newcastle could be the club to bring him back to the the, uh, the Premier League. And you see, Brahimi, I'm waiting waiting for a scout report back for him too. But Tevez's contract is expiring also, and I'm be, I'd just be quite happy to just throw in like a fifteen million pound bid and see what they say I'd love to get Carlos Tevez at Newcastle United that would be absolutely superb with regards to the other positions we're going to hold off just for now and uh, perhaps take some more of your you guys your guys suggestions on board as well we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, Musa Sissoko in this episode we'll play Leicester we'll play City and we'll advance as far as the first game against Lech Poznan today uh, or this evening obviously there are two episodes of this series going live every day so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and check the channel page for anything you may have missed because obviously there's going to be a lot of content coming out over the next few days uh, for now though let's go and take on Leicester City away from home and see if we can't start the season with three points front end of the team Newcastle United's lineup Mahrez twisting away from me well drills that straight to Kovalenko though we'll go centrally there's some space here pushing forward Dendonka 
Oh, it's going to do well actually to stay away from the attentionism and Golo Kante there. Get this around the corner though, looking for Kovalenko. In fact, it's going to go to Emiliano in Sua. Drive inside. I see Arnautovic gets it under control, but there isn't much space here. He'll find Musa. Musa Sissoko might be leaving us. How has he not got that on target? How has he not got that on target? That's ridiculous. We should be 1 0 up. That's awful from Musa. Uh, going to give it to Musa Sissoko, I think, from this sort of range. Where are you, Musa? There he is. He scored some good free kicks for us from similar range so far in this save. And this time, oh, has a great save from Ron Robert Zila. And Christian Fuchs will get it away. Sissoko's come close twice, but not yet found the back of the net as a team. Nil-nil. Sissoko gets it out to Insua. And now Switch is wanting to make runs in behind, so we'll play him in. Danny Simpson is coming across, but he can't deal with the footwork of Arnautovic. Really can't deal with the footwork of Arnautovic. He's well blocked. He's going to drop to Delefeu. That was not the best shot Gerard Delefeu will ever take in his life. I don't think he could have gotten underneath that anymore. Confirmation again that Gareth Bale has gone to Real Madrid, gone from Real Madrid to Paris Saint-Germain for £46 million. Pounds. Corner on the brink of half-time. Delefeu into the middle. Keeper thought about coming. Kudabali must have lost that header because there's no way he would have just headed it up and backwards. Or Brighton trying to catch us on the counter-attack now. The counter-attack was last year Leicester's preferred style of play in real life. Although I, I think they won't be able to be as effective this year as they were last year because everybody's going to see it coming. But on the game, where you can see it coming, but whether you can stop it is a different matter. Especially when they've got Musa, Vardy, Mares. And Berahino in their starting lineup. Actually, I don't think Vardy's playing, but Berahino's definitely starting, and he's just as quick as Jamie Vardy. And it took a, a really good reaction save there from Matt Sells to stop them from taking the lead just before half time. Nil nil. Free kick in a really good position here. I'm sorely tempted to bring Gilfi on just to take it, but let's give it to Kovalenko. Come on, then, my man. Do something you've not done for me so far. Oh, Ron Robert Zila, what a save. He's going to drop to Koulibaly. How's he missed? Musa Sissoko, from a similar position, puts it wide in the first half. At least Koulibaly's a centre back. Put it near post, mate. How's he missed that? What a free kick, though, from, uh, from Kovalenko. And what a great save from Ron Robert Zila. Two stunning free kicks from Sissoko and Kovalenko have been brilliantly saved by their German goalkeeper. And uh, with Musa Sissoko also missing a guilt-edged opportunity early on in the first half and somehow Koulibaly missing the target there. I don't know how we're not in front in this game. I'm going to try and play that around the corner looking for Sissoko. Can maybe get it back to Arnautovic, which he has, and we're still not 1-0 up because there's a mixture of Ron Robert Zila and Rakitsky stop us from taking the lead. Oh, what an opening game to the season so far. It could be... Oh, wow. What a ball that was. Trying to desperately to stop him from getting it to Berahino. Oh! It was Kante in the middle, not Berahino, and all Brighton can't keep it in. This game has been really end-to-end. -end. Plenty of chances. Very entertaining opening game of the season. Unfortunately, though, there haven't been the goals to back that up. Moves up. Oh, I see the run being made by the man through the middle, but they haven't been able to find him, thankfully. They are going to get it down the line to Shinji Okazaki, though. He'll turn back, get the cross in. Looking for Michael Brighton through the middle, but Sells does well to come and claim that. I mentioned earlier that... What a terrible touch from Rolando Aarons. At least he won it back. I mentioned earlier that uh, they weren't playing Jamie Vardy and they were playing Berahino instead of him. It's only just occurred to me that Berahardi... Berahardi? Yep. Jamie Vardy's actually at Stoke, isn't he, on this save. I completely forgot that Leicester had sold him. So that's why Jamie Vardy isn't playing for Leicester. But they have still tried to stick to that counter-attacking style of play. You can see how quickly they move it from back line to front. And again, Sells is going to come and deal with that. He's been doing very well, actually, Sells been a lot of talk in the comment section about potentially bringing in a world-class goalkeeper but so far I've not seen any reason why as to uh, not keep Sells and Favili. Down the left. That's a great ball in. Please win this header. I meant the defender, not Michael Brighton. Sells makes a good save to stop them taking the... Oh, he was offside. Wow. This game has been so good. It's Nil-nil, but it's anything but a ball draw. There goes the final whistle. It is going to be nil-nil in the end, but I don't quite know how there haven't been four or five goals in that game. Expert goalkeeping. Fabinho's hair continues to not load, as you can see in the background there. But numerous clear-cut opportunities for both sides, but no goals. Either goalkeepers were on top form or... 
players was just woeful with finishing. Most notably, Koulibaly and Sissoko for us, and Albrighton really should have done better with that header right at the very end as well. A nil-nil draw. We'll jump back to the transfer window now and see what is going on. Boca have said that they still want a lot of money for Carlos Tevez, despite the fact that his contract is running out. They want 33 and a half. He's valued at 22. I'm still desperate to bring him in, so I'm I'm probably willing to stretch to uh, to a, a little bit more. Do I try and use Musa Sissoko in this deal, and then just try and buy a striker or buy a central midfielder purely on uh, other monetary funds? Let's offer. 18 plus the 11 million of... Actually, no, we could probably offer them 13 plus Moose Sissoko. We'll see what they say to that. I don't I don't want to overpay because... Well, I don't want to massively overpay. I'll probably end up overpaying because I overpay for everyone. But I don't want to massively overpay because we've got a number of positions we want to improve in. And we're gonna, we want to improve with top quality players in those positions. So, as such, we want to make our money go around we do have a lot of money to go around but you still want to spend it wisely just because you've got it doesn't mean you want to necessarily be frivolous with it with money being the main point of concern there we actually now travel away again for the second game in a row to a challenge a side that also have a fair amount of money at their disposal I'm not sure what their starting lineup looks like in the third season but our starting lineup will look pretty similar to the previous game I'm actually going to give Gilfie the start here and I think that's all I'm going to do with regards to starting lineup. So let's jump in now against Manchester City away and see if we can get three points this time. City's lineup then. Aguero starts with Garcia sat behind him. Pierre Emil Hoiberg in the midfield. Jason Denea alongside Vincent Company. It's still a pretty strong side. Garcia actually scored against us last time we played them as well, I think. So we can't underestimate him like we did last time. It's going to be a tough test, this. I've called for the second player, and Gilfie is there. Kovalenko is here too. Kovalenko back to Gilfie. Gilfie does love a long shot. Gilfie does love a look, uh, getting tripped and falling on his head. So that's a free kick there. Which one are we going to get? The earlier one or the second one? The earlier one. OK, we, there was an advantage played, and Gilfie did get crunched there as well. But Kovalenko did come close, as did Musa Sissoko in the previous game, to giving us the lead from a free kick. But Gilfie is going to do exactly the same. Joe Hart, now of Torino in real life, makes a very good save there to stop us from getting ourselves in front. That is a terrible corner, but Zabaleta tries to bring it down. Then Donka gets that in there to Gilfie, try and get around the defender. Delefeu is making the run, but he's got Raheem Sterling with him. Probably should have gone the other way in that counter-attack, but never mind. Get this to Dendonka. Through there to Ozzy Perez. I see the run of Delefeu. Going to find him well. He's around the side. The goalkeeper. And it's the inside the post. I don't understand how we've not scored so far this season. Drilling that into the box. It's only going to find Jesus Navas on the far side. How many times are we going to come inches away from scoring a goal in today's episode? We could have had four or five against Leicester. And we got around the goalkeeper there, but still hit the woodwork. Nil-nil after 22 minutes. Telefeu out to Fabinho. In a good position here. Looks for the cross at the back post. Is Iosi Perez. Oh! He's offside. He's offside. What a goal that was. I mean, it took a massive deflection off Pablo Zabaleta to beat the keeper, but still... Oh, he's only, he's only, he's only just off. Even when we do get the ball in the back of the net, we still stay at nil-nil. Garcia's given that straight to Insua. That was awful. Sigurdsson looking for Delefeu. Poke that to Dendonka. Go to Delefeu again. Joe Delefeu in behind. Draw the defender to Dendonka. Oh, at last. Oh, it automatically skipped the celebration. Never mind. A little one-two with Gerard Delefeu. Lovely ball back into him. Bit of a heavy touch, but the finish. Getting it up and over the goalkeeper who's rushing out to slide in front of him. Perhaps should have stayed tall a little bit longer. To be fair, Joe Hart still was pretty tall by the time Dendonka struck that shot. At last, we have a goal in this game. Dendonka makes it Newcastle 1, Manchester City 0. Garcia to Fernando. Just at 1 2 with Raheem Sterling. Back out to Sterling again. Oh, he's done really well here, Raheem. Top save from Sells. He really is desperate to hold on to that number one spot, isn't he, Matt Sells? Jesus Navas down the right-hand side for City. Trying to get themselves back in it. Very deep cross 
Fabinho heads that away, even though I was waiting to take control of it with Gerard Delefeuille. Kolarov looking to get forward, but Gilfie does well. Maybe we catch him on the counter. It's a bit spacey for Kovalenko. Unfortunately, Jesus Navas has enough pace to be able to deal with the attentions of Marko Arnautovic on the left-hand side. So we'll just pop over here to the right-hand side. Although, to be fair, Sterling has a little bit of pace in his legs as well. But Gilfie, oh, I didn't really have the space there for a long shot. He does love one. Here's Iozzi. Bit of space for his shot, but it's going to go out for a corner. We'll leave it. We'll take the set-piece and we'll try and get ourselves a 2-0 lead before half-time. See what we can do. I'll try and put it near post, actually. I don't fancy... Oh, please, please, please. Yes. I was going to say, I don't fancy Raheem Sterling in the air. And then Donker does well to have the header on target. Joe Hart save, palms it straight back into danger. If you're going to palm it away, Joe, don't palm it straight there. Straight back into the middle of the box. Could go anywhere. In the end, it falls to Zorza Kore. And he makes it. Manchester City nil. Newcastle United, two. Ta. Aguero. Ball inside to Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. Out wide to Fernando. Not known for his goal scoring, but he's dribbled away from everyone well there and Sells makes a smart save. He's making some good saves in these two games, Sells. He's definitely keen on keeping that first team spot. Favili has done well, though, in the games that he's played in. Koulibaly went for the header there, completely missed it, and we'll have a throw in on the far side instead. And Sewer. Gilfie. Got space there for Kovalenko. And company's overcommitted there. Navas is with me, but Kovalenko does well. He's still going. Victor Kovalenko for three. No, it's going to drop not to Perez, but to Victor Kovalenko. Not to Victor Kovalenko. To uh, Kolarov. Oh, and that's deflected. Fernando, good block. Corner for Newcastle. City are making changes. Not sure who it is that they've brought on, but you already know what's happening here. Nolito has come on for Sterling. Gilfie loves a long shot. I, I couldn't say anything there. I had no idea what was going to happen. I was just watching open mouth, waiting for something dr amazing to uh, to just bounce off. It just, I can't even, how did that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll take another corner. De La Feu, into the middle it comes. Joe Hart's coming. Joe Hart catches. Gerald with a nice flick. Jason Denea coming down the left. He's a centre-back, so I hope his crossing isn't good enough. Cleesey, though, could get a good ball in. He's got a ball in. It wasn't necessarily a good one. And now Iosi Perez is up against Fernando. And he's past Fernando. Iosi Perez to make it 3-0. Surely, yes. Great counter-attack. Terrible defending from Fernando to let Iosi Perez just dance around him there on the halfway line. City commit bodies forward, get caught on the counter. 3-0 Newcastle. Cleesey lifts it back in, but it's cleared away. This referee seems rather reluctant to blow the final whistle. We've played like seven minutes of added time here, surely. Hoiberg back into the middle. Fernando doesn't do well enough. And there goes the final whistle. It is a 3-0 victory away from home against Manchester City. That should have been the result against Leicester as well. So it's nice to see that we're able to keep up the same level of performance. Almost exactly the same amount of shots on target as well. We had 10 shots against Leicester, but I think actually it was only 5 on target. So the 3 extra we had on target were the 3 goals that went in. Really pleased though with uh, the 2 performances today. We've got 3 days before the Lech Poznan game. Let's see if anything happens in the window. Boca Juniors have accepted the offer. 13 million plus Musa Sissoko. He wants 120 grand a week. I mean, I'll give it to him. He only wants one year contract, but we're only doing one more year here, so that's fine. I don't mind giving Carlos Tevez 120 grand. What is Musa Sissoko on a week? That's what uh, is curious to me. Let's have a look and see, shall we? We'll sort by uh, name, so it's easy to find. He's on 60, so we're only losing 60 grand a week from our budget there to give Carlos Tevez that. Uh, wow. How many people are on a yellow card and close to a ban in Europe? That's mad. Is that going to be Tevez accepting the contract no it's the transfer offer for Leroy Fair. wow 17 million I didn't expect that but Leroy Fair is going nowhere I didn't expect Leroy Fair to be getting any sort of interest whatsoever anyway that's going to be all for this evening's episode drop the video a like if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content but for now that's me done for today two more episodes tomorrow and I'll see you then